Everywhere you look, gardeners are talking about biochar, the so-called black gold that locks in carbon and boosts soil health. But what many don't realize is that biochar is just one piece of a much older, simpler practice that farmers once used long before the word biochar existed. While biochar demands precise burning conditions and long activation steps, there's another burn material that works faster, blends easier, and gives visible results in weeks, not months. That material is wood ash, the fine powdery residue left after natural wood burns, completely. If handled correctly, it can restore poor soil faster than any bagged amendment, making it one of the most underrated fall and winter soil builders available to home gardeners. Biochar takes time to charge, ash feeds immediately. The main issue with biochar is timing. Freshly made biochar is inert, it acts like a sponge but provides no nutrients on its own. Before it can benefit the soil, it must be charged, soaked in compost tea, urine, or manure slurry, to fill its pores with nutrients and microbes. This process can take weeks, and if skipped, biochar can temporarily lock up nitrogen and stunt plant growth. Wood ash, on the other hand, starts feeding the moment it hits damp soil. When hardwood burns completely, the minerals bound inside the wood, like calcium, potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium, turn into soluble oxides and carbonates. That's why ash acts almost like a mild natural fertilizer and liming agent combined. It neutralizes acidity, boosts potassium instantly, and helps roots absorb other nutrients more efficiently. In poor, sour soil where plants have struggled, a light dusting of wood ash often brings noticeable results by the next growing season. Wood ash works best when mixed with organic matter, not spread raw. You know many gardeners make the mistake of sprinkling dry ash straight onto soil, thinking more is better, but that's where trouble starts. Raw ash is highly alkaline, and too much can upset soil balance. The key is to combine ash with decomposing organic matter so that its minerals bind to humus instead of leaching away. Here's the practical formula that works beautifully. For every 10 liters of finished compost or leaf mold, mix in about one cup of sifted wood ash. Blend it thoroughly so there are no concentrated pockets. This creates a nutrient-charged compost that releases potassium and calcium gradually as microbes break down the mix. When you spread this blend as a top layer or mix it lightly into the upper few inches of soil, it builds fertility without raising the pH too sharply. If you're preparing a fall or winter bed, take advantage of rainfall to help the process along. After layering compost mixed with ash, water it deeply once, then cover the bed with straw or leaf mulch. The kind of wood, and, honestly, the way you burn it really matters. Not all ashes are equal, you know. For garden use, only pure wood ash should be used, never from painted, treated, or charcoal briquettes. Hardwood ash is superior to softwood because it contains more calcium and less resin. Oak, maple, and fruit trees produce the best mineral balance for soil. The ash should be fine, pale gray, and completely cooled before use. When burning, allow the wood to burn to completion in an open pit or barrel where there's plenty of air. Don't scrape out black chunks or half-burned material, that's biochar, not ash, and behaves differently. Once cooled, store the ash in a dry container with a lid to prevent it from absorbing moisture. If it clumps or turns damp, it loses some potency and becomes harder to mix evenly. Here's how wood ash transforms acidic, compacted, or wormless soils. Many raised bed soils gradually turn acidic after years of composting, rain, and fertilizer use. Earthworms and microbes prefer a neutral environment, and once the pH drops too low, their activity slows dramatically. A small annual application of wood ash corrects this naturally. The calcium carbonate in ash acts like agricultural lime, gently raising the pH and restoring biological balance. For compacted or lifeless soil, the combination of ash and organic matter really jumpstarts the microbial engine. The ash feeds fungi and beneficial bacteria that decompose organic residues faster, while the potassium encourages stronger root growth in new plantings. Over a few months, this improves both structure and drainage. To test the effect, sprinkle a handful of the compost ash mix in one corner of your bed and water it. Within weeks, that patch will often grow visibly greener weeds or grasses, 
proof that nutrient activity has increased. Gardeners who repeat this method each fall usually notice by the second season that their soil becomes darker and easier to crumble, with far more worm channels beneath the surface. Now, how much ash is safe and effective to use? Less is always more with ash. In an average raised bed measuring about 4 by 8 feet, a single quart jar of ash per season is plenty when mixed with compost. On open ground, 1 kilogram per 10 square meters is a safe baseline. Avoid applying during windy days or directly before heavy rain, as ash can blow or wash away easily. Always incorporate it with some form of organic layer, compost, manure, or mulch to help anchor it and prevent nutrient loss. If your soil is already alkaline, with a pH above 7.5, skip ash entirely or use it only in compost piles to balance acidic materials like fruit waste or coffee grounds. For very acidic soils below pH 6, you can safely double the rate for the first season, then test again in spring. Now, here's why this approach outperforms biochar for immediate soil revival. Biochar is long-term architecture. It builds the skeleton of the soil but doesn't feed it right away. Wood ash in contrast, is the bloodstream. It carries active nutrients directly into the system, stimulating life almost immediately. The two can even complement each other. But when the goal is quick recovery of weak soil before a new season, ash wins hands down. It corrects pH, restores mineral balance, and boosts microbial activity in a single cycle. For gardeners seeking fast natural improvement without high cost or specialized equipment, this old-fashioned practice outperforms fancy products. The results are visible in greener plants, more resilient soil, and the steady return of worms and fungi that keep the ground alive through all seasons. If this guide helped clarify how wood ash can bring dead soil back to life, subscribe to Hydrohaven for more practical tested gardening methods that save time, money, and effort. Share this with other gardeners who want real results, not trends, and let's keep reviving the soil one backyard at a time.